My name is Beverly Tafadz Kanyamash. I am 21 years old. I just went for an interview just like everybody else and then we received a visit two weeks down the line from an auntie. Uh, she came and she spoke to my mom just to get to know me better through my mom. And after she finished talking to my mom, she then informed us that um, I had made it and I was supposed to go for the cat's training the following week. How I got my skills to enable me to do this job. Uh, we went for a cat's training. We had a little bit knowledge of our own, but we needed to enhance that knowledge. The cat's training lasted for a week. We went on a Monday and then we came back home Friday. We also learned about counseling, how I can sit down with a client and talk to her and counsel her and make sure she's in a comfortable place. We learned about the basic rules of counseling, the principles of counseling. Uh, that I didn't know. I didn't know that when it comes to counseling, you need a certain quiet place to just sit with a person. And you also have to be making sure that they are safe. They feel safe. They have to feel safe. They have to be confident. They have to be comfortable. They have to, to feel free to confide in you. So we learned all those and many more. I think it is very, very important for other adolescents who would like to become cats to undergo the cats training because it enhances the little knowledge. I mean, when we're back here, we'll think like we know everything and sort. But when you go for the training, that's when you realize, oh, OK, what I knew was just the basic stuff. There's more. I cannot sit down with a nurse who's older than me and be telling them, Auntie, I need condoms. Auntie, I need um, family planning pills. I cannot tell the nurse that without the nurse getting to criticize me in return. So they feel much comfortable talking to us. I make sure that a client who comes to me does not go back home with that heavy heart that she comes with, that he or she comes with. So getting to sit down and talk, she'll be offloading everything that she has inside. And I'll make sure that while she's offloading, I'm also going back and healing those wounds that she's opening and trying to make her just feel comfortable and feel safe and just be open, just be free. What I get from supporting my peers is uh, mostly love. I give them love and the love comes back to me. So I'd say mostly I get love because the whole relationship between me and my clients, it's all about love. So the best part is just sitting down with the client and just talking to them, getting to hear about their life and me also getting to tell them about mine. The best part of my day is just going to work, looking forward to meeting my clients because that's the most fun part about, about being a cat. Sitting down with your client, talking to them, getting to listen to them, how they feel, how they're living, getting to just hear them, see their experiences, the life they're living at home. My cats are my South Museum and Jiri, but I have no anger. Me, Mama Pius, my new age. Me, I'm better. Me, my cats, you know, she's not just saying that she monitor, eh, basarabo. Vaka itaoma counseling sessions ni ma adolescents kwa tuma beneficiaries au pane pamoja pano ni wano kuna kwa namu ana anenge asina faera ulod wano muunza au kuatir tomto ra faera ulod tomto sa kuwari wani mafu ma wani inge wai nao dawa sai nira pana yaka tangu baadhi ya markets na hisa siya uchano wangu saundi abereki wangu wai enet kana ni nasha zukita ni. Wangu <laughs> Now, Nikawa na dedike kujiuza. Hii nipate sabuni ya mtoto. Ili angaika sana. Na kuni ya pombe. Kwa hiyo mtoto alipo fikisha mwaka mmoja na mwezi mwini. Ndiyo nikaenda mwaka mmoja na mwezi mtano. 
ndo nikaenda kupima kituo cha afya sikuwa na njia nyingine njia yangu ilikuwa ya kuingia kwenye baa kunywa pombe na rara kwenye baa nashinda kwenye baa hivyo hivyo najiuza na hela sio nyingi ni 3500 ila Mungu alinisaidia nilipokuja kumpima mtoto wangu nilikuta mtoto yuko vizuri kiukweli ndio imenisaidia sana nilikuwa na maisha mabaya kwa majina naitwa Dr. Kusaya Asabo kutoka kituo cha afya Nkwenda wilaya ya Kerwa mkoa wa Kagera na katika utoaji wetu wa huduma tumekuwa tukitoa huduma kuna support ambao tulipata kupitia mradi wa Lede Plus ambao ulitoa elimu ya kujitambua kwa vijana wanaoishi na maambukizi ya virusi vya ukimwi na hawa vijana tisa tunawatumia kama mabalozi wetu kufikia vijana wengine ambao wapo ndani ya rika usika ambapo kupitia hii elimu ya afya ya uzazi wameweza kutambua hali zao za uzazi kwamba wanaweza kapata watoto na wasiwe na shida licha ya kuwa na maambukizi ya virusi vya ukimwi nilijifungua watoto wawili lakini katika watoto wawili mmoja wapo akagundulika ana maambukizi ya virusi vya ukimwi mwingine yuko salama lakini baada ya kugundulika tukaingia kwenye huduma na mtoto wangu na sasa hivi anaendelea vizuri na baada ya ya kuwaleta kina Katsi walitusaidia sana maana wa mama au wazazi ambao walikuwa naishi na watoto wenye maambukizi ya virusi vya ukimwi walishindwa jinsi ya kuwaelezea watoto wao walizao na bado tumefundishwa tujikubali na tukijikubali tutasoma na tutafanya kazi na tutazao watoto ambao kwa salama basi tukao tunafundishwa mbinu za kuwaelezea watoto wetu lakini tukao tunashindwa namna ya kuwaambia mimi wa kwangu sasa hivi ni nesi ndiye anayenikumbusha hata tarehe ya clinic baada ya kujikubali baada ya kukutana na watoto wenzao wamependa sana clinic kwa sababu ya kuwapenda Mungu awabariki sana Mimi na fly kwa mama kwa sababu wapo wengi huko wanaishi maisha kama ya kwangu kwa hiyo yao ndo nawaendea kiukweli nilikuwa naonekana kama maraya nilikuwa nilikuwa sina sifa yoyote lakini kwa sasa hivi kuna watu ambao wananiona wananiheshimu kupitia umradi wa lede kwa kweli na ushukuru sana Hi, I am Nomfundo Mimalo, a nurse midwife working at Mbiwake Clinic providing adolescent health friendly services. Since cats came, they've helped us to be able to reach our adolescents that are far from us in the community. They can do home visits that we can't do. My name is Tembehile Ngomonde. I'm a nurse midwife at Beijing Consi Clinic, Nazarene Clinic. We have seen an influx of young people coming to the facilities. Some of them they were scared. Some of them they could not even talk about their HIV status. Some they were even having self stigma. Some of them has have misconceptions that I'm going to die someday without achieving my dreams. They had that scare or that fright. So this has helped us in that way. The Ready project have uh, its impact on the community and us nurses is bridging the gap between us and the parents of the children. We would see the children but they uh, we would not be able to talk to the parents. So they have helped us in um bringing together the community. Oh, we have found that some parents even were inspired by the kids. Then you would find that the the parents themselves start taking the tablets nicely then they would be able to help the children and also um HIV and AIDS has become something we can talk about freely but now everyone in the facility in the community can talk about it without being scared of anything of course i would love the project to expand to other facilities because it is a really great thing that has happened for adolescents since forever the youth is our future so if we don't take care of the youth then we don't have a future imagine Switzerland living with um adolescents who are able to take care of themselves 
who are knowledgeable, who are well informed, who are resilient, who are building their future, who are empowered in the way that you know you cannot imagine. So this has helped a lot. We would really love it to go to every facility in the country. Imagine us pushing for you know an HIV free generation. This would help a lot. I would really be happy if this project can just go to the other facilities so that they enjoy the benefits that we have. What are the approach? Shamumi Josette, so natural in Maput, Viva K Mosambique. Eles, desde respeito à educação, antes do programa RED, muitos jovens não, não, não iam à escola, não, não estudavam por causa de, de, de discriminação. Então, outros acabaram mesmo, mesmo na escola, abandonando por causa desse problema, abandonaram o tratamento, abandonaram é, a escola. Então, com o programa RED, é, trouxe um uau para esse jovem. Por quê? Porque hoje em dia eles voltaram para a escola alguns. Sempre que há dúvidas, sempre se aproximam à unidade sanitária ou mesmo nos contatos. Eu vou falar muito mais do meu distrito, né? Porque eu trabalho lá com os adolescentes jovens com HIV e SIDA, que hoje, é, antes e depois do RED, há, há uma diferença muito enorme. Hoje temos adolescentes jovens mais empoderados, com mais informação. Os adolescentes jovens se engajam muito bem é, no que, nos temas. Trouxe impactos positivos a eles, em que eles começaram, nós começamos a conscientizar a eles que a vida ela tem a tendência é de ir mais em frente, é, em que já tivemos muitos fóruns de advocacia, em que estes fóruns sempre nos trouxeram mais experiência, mais, 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 mais mais vida em que nós tivemos mais informações. E o Red veio, veio trazer essas, essas novidades, né? E os jovens têm aderido e têm mudado alguma coisa na vida do, dos jovens, né? Então, com o programa, crescemos mais, tivemos mais autoestima de querer seguir mais a vida em frente. Ou quererem os jovens que seguirem mais a vida. Nada é feito para nós sem nós. E lá, esta palavra, esse ditado, é a validade. Então, com o programa, trouxe mais melhoria, trouxe mais informação, trouxe mais engajamento, trouxe mais empoderamento e resiliência aos jovens. Eles não sabiam, mas com, com o programa, eles é, conseguiram se engajar e saber que, afinal, não só eu só que vivo com HIV. Tem várias pessoas que vivem com HIV que são resilientes e que também são empoderadas.